Steven Seidel. Seidel from Renegade Reporting. We have Ed Asner here. I mean, world-renowned actor. And I'll tell you what, you brought me to tears in Up. Mm. That was pretty impressive. Mm. Uh, that was an amazing experience for my whole entire family. Wow. And uh, Mary Tyler Moore, you brought a lot of uh, laughter to everyone as well. Thank you. I'm proud of it. <clears throat> I'm proud of it all. Uh, I haven't screwed up yet. Uh, so far, so good. Say. Well, in, in my eyes, in other eyes. So, how long have you been a part of OOA? <laughs> Office of the Americas for you. I would say little. 81 or 82, so that's 28, 29 years. Okay, and you've been pretty active and, you know, politically. Uh, what was the main inspiration to get on board? Uh, I always wanted Teresa. Okay, you like Teresa? Thought she was sexy? Yeah. Okay, that's always an inspiration, you know. I like that. OOA always put themselves on site to protest, to, to be arrested, to uh, do whatever was necessary to call attention to the, the principles that they were fighting for. They have wonderful resources uh, for a, a poverty-stricken organization. They're, sure. They're, they're phenomenal. There are much there, there were much bigger organizations at the time. I was really active with OOA, but sure. they, they, uh, they never came up with the goods. Uh, they, they never struck home to the heart of the problem as OOA did. Okay. So just really, I, I spoke with Blaze, he said showing up, you know, uh, writing letters to the congressman. I think for viewers online, you know, maybe getting on board and supporting, donating their time or their money. Of course. Of course. Of course. That's, the, that's the minimum. Speaking of he's watching a, out, he's Italian. He's Italian. You know what they say? Is he Sicilian? Because the Sicilians, I heard, the they really. The hand of the Italian is at work there. Short fuses. <laughs> but they do cook. They do cook pretty well, though. I never tasted his efforts, and I don't think I would seek that out. What do you think was the best role that you've ever cooked up in your career? Oh, rich man, poor man was a pretty good guy. Uh, the, the collective. 12 years of Mary Tyler Moore, certainly. Yeah, yeah and you, you were the only actor to receive uh, an Emmy or an award for dramatic and comedian. So, congrats. So, yeah. Mary Tyler Moore, is that something you're most proud of? Uh, is that I'm certainly very proud of it. it, it uh, let's face it, it made me. You've been in the business now for uh, 50 years or so? I was first paid in uh, 53. It's getting close to 60. FDR you're working on now as well? I am. And I am. how long have you been working on that and what are we... I've done about, oh, I started at uh, the end, uh, towards the beginning of last fall. Okay. I've done about 16, 20 performances. Okay. Going out in a few days to add another 20 or 30. So for an actor or performer, uh, like some of my viewers and some of the people that are out here trying to become active and you know, to gain foothold in the industry. What are some suggestions? The entertainment industry has obviously evolved. You know, you have your new media, you have television, you have social networks. What are some suggestions? Flee. Run quickly. Yes. The, the, the industry is so chaotic now, I wouldn't know what to advise anybody. What's one thing you can't live without? I'll put it this way. If I can't act, I'd rather be dead. So performing and acting, and and how how do being an activist and acting how did they come together in your life? Or I, I'm not saying necessarily you're an activist, but how does acting and becoming well, involved? Well, we we, uh, we are uh, uh, lightning rods. We uh, we trot across the stage and we attract attention, and we therefore then use if once we succeed at it to run across the stage and attract attention for OOA. Okay, wonderful. That's what my purpose is for Blaze and Teresa. Uh, the brilliance of my mind does not ever come into play. So I wanted to know what your favorite burger was in and around the LA area. Well, I went in for that in and out bologna. I, uh. I don't know. I, I liked Hamptons when it existed, but I okay. guess it doesn't exist anymore. When I was acting at Stratford, there was a shack on the road. Outside, Those are always the best. And they had lobster burgers and crab burgers. 
So let me tell you, you can take your beef and stick it. What would be your favorite movie uh, that promotes peace off the top of your head? That might be a little difficult. Gods of Glory. Okay. And for it's, us viewers who don't know. It's a, it's a Stanley Kubrick film about the First World War, condemning the idiocy of war. It shows the stupidity of war. And I think that's the best way to do it. To sh either show the ridiculousness or the stupidity of war. And I wish uh, President Obama would go look at it. Yeah, that's it. Unless you have anything else you'd like to share, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Well, I, I, you know, this is a commercial, uh, so people will probably not pay much attention to it. But from the bottom of my heart, I speak that OOA has been one of the finest, most effective organizations for peace, and particularly directed at the Latin American situation. Uh, they're doing a, a good job in standing up for peace and justice in Israel and, and uh, the West Bank. Uh, and wherever, and I'm sure they're doing, I have been brought up recently, I'm sure they're doing what they can in terms of Haiti. Uh, where, where there is justice to be, to be fought for, to be desired, OOA will be there. Thank you. And I'm not through. He's not done. And where peace is desired, and who doesn't want peace except the troglodytes who, who occupy Blackwater and things like that. Uh, they, they, they love to have chaos so they can strut in their jackboots. There are a lot of jackboot wearers these days, and uh, I, I hope that the small, tiny candle that represents OOA can somehow start the conflagration that will help consume Jackboots. Well put. Thank you very much for your time. So speaking <coughs> of good, oh, excuse me. So speaking oh, of, uh, <coughs> I had something in my throat. No, that was mine. Oh, that was you. Oh, sorry. So speaking you want of good, what was in mind? Let's just. <clears throat> I got it. Do you need that? No. No, you're good. Yeah. Okay. I swallow mine, don't you? Okay. And now sometimes you know you just gotta let it go. You just gotta release it. You gotta get the toxins out. No, I love that taste. Yeah. Just yeah. let it wallow in there for yeah. the entire day. No, it, it's got a, like a chrome taste. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I used to suck on the pens that you had. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the older pens. Yeah. You know, dip them in there. And it yeah, them. you're being silly, aren't you? No, I'm being serious. Steven, you're talking to an elder. I apologize. Really? Wow, you're not going to So what you thought. So, just a few more quick questions. <coughs> what is... <coughs> What's one thing Can you that... you ask me any questions? I, I tried to slide them in there. Wait a minute, I had a sheet here. What trying to slide them in there. Sheet? I had a sheet here of possible questions. This is Ed Asner, and I'm watching Renegade Reporting.